And man, it seems unreal. Um, I try to envision it in my head as much as I can so I can get used to it. But I know when I get in there and I, and I hear that and I feel that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel unreal. I'm just getting ready to soak all that in and uh, use it as energy. I think I always have an advantage fighting the same opponent twice. It only takes a little bit, a little bit of time for me to get used to my opponent and read my opponent. And I've already been in there, felt his power, felt his speed. And I mean, obviously the fight was going my way and, and there's nothing that's gonna happen that's different. On the next fight, I'm gonna have it my way. I'm gonna get the finish. You know, he caught me with a good shot. No excuses. Um, I mean, obviously there's some things that happened when he caught me with that shot, but no excuses, it's a fight. I got caught and uh, I'm ready to get my lick back. Kill or be killed, you know, I felt like that was my this, that was my only shot left at the UFC um, to get a contract. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on my shield and, and uh, give it all I got. And um, it was a lot of pressure though, you know, main event, uh, last episode of the season. I mean, obviously the UFC seen something in me to bring me right back, so. I'm just happy that I performed the way I did and, and showed them that they made no mistake by bringing me back. Um, there was really like at that point, at, at that point in time uh, at Bulldog, there wasn't really that many good fighters in the gym, you know? And uh, so one day uh, Matt, my coach Matt, told me to get some rounds with Austin. I'm like, this big motherfucker. Like, <laughs> but, uh, but me and him was going at it, and I guess like he seen the the fighter in me, and and after that like we just hit it off, and he's like my big brother, and he is my big brother, you know. Um, I could always count on him, and and that's that's just my dog, man. I love that guy. I'm I'm happy the way it played out, though. You know, that was still my toughest fight to this day. Like you know, my first amateur fight, and uh, that was the fight that that let me know that. I have a fighter in me, like, you know what I'm saying? Because there's not many fighters that will go into a war like that, especially their first amateur fight, and uh, want more of it, you know? As soon as I got out of the cage, I was like, when's the next one? Like, I wanted, I wanted some more of it, so. But yeah, but now me and Steven are brothers, you know? Um, you know, that, that in my eyes, that fight was a toss-up. That was many years ago, but that was, that was my brother, you know? And now, now I, he gives me, like, the best grappling advice and work that I could possibly get here in Jacksonville, and, and I hope him vice versa with the hands. I just know he he earned my respect that night and I earned his, you know. Um, both of our backs were against the wall uh, multiple times and we kept pushing back and I feel like we both gotten better after that. I mean, obviously, like, he went on a tear, I went on a tear and we both won amateur fight, I mean, amateur belts and uh, now, we're, now we're both in the UFC. <laughs> So I have a, a good friend named Gerard. You know, um, he's been shooting this docu series on me uh, the last two years, and he's good friends with Uriah. And he put me in touch with Uriah, and I've been out there for my last two camps to train and getting some good work, man. I love it out there. Um, obviously, he's a legend in the sport. I got nothing, for, nothing but respect for him and his and his team and what he got going on out there. And I look forward to keep going out there next camp, you know, but this time it was the holidays. Uh, I didn't want to leave my family behind. I wanted to spend time with my kids. And what's a better way than getting uh, my first UFC dub here in Duval, training out of Duval and putting on for the city. It's hard, you know, because um, what a lot of people don't understand with fighting comes a lot of stress, like, uh, weight cutting, uh, dieting, a bunch of shit you don't want to do. I mean, I, I, mean, I enjoy training, I enjoy fighting. I don't, I don't like dieting and cutting weight and shit like that. But it, 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 it brings stress sometimes, you know? And um, So you have to learn not to bring that shit inside your home. You know, you gotta learn how to even it out. You know, don't take it out on your family and shit that's, that's home waiting for you. Uh, but I do a good job at it. You know, I'm a good, great dad. I love being a dad. I'm grateful for all my kids. Um, and I'm doing this for them. You know, without them, I, I probably won't be fighting, to be honest. <laughs>